that was a really cool interview from Ronald. We really covered a lot and he was able to share his beginning experience to where he is now. And we really covered a lot of different topics. So that shows me that he is well versed in the Salesforce development space. Now there were a few different areas that did trip him up. He did stumble on and that's to be expected in any kind of interview, right? It's very rapid, very fast paced. You need to think off the top of your head and just showing that he is capable of doing that and in areas that he didn't know, he did bring those up and showcased how he is able to learn and overcome different challenges that he had. So that is definitely a pass for me. Some other tips that we talked about is maybe working on his lighting, his eye contact through the camera. Remember that now that we're not doing so many in-person interviews, they're, they're all of those little subtle cues and different posture and things like that that go into live interviewing, you need to be very selective and very focused on conveying the best message that you can while you are doing these virtual interviews or even a phone interview. So just some areas to practice on that and a few different development topics to brush up on. But overall, it is a pass for me. I would definitely send him on to the next round if this was either more technical things or maybe going to a different type of group of people to talk to at the company. He definitely checked all the boxes from what I'm looking for. So of course, uh, a lot of this was a mock interview, right? We, we made up a few things, but the way his answers and the responses that he gave and the genuine uh, eye contact and things like that were all real. And for the overall of it, right? You want to get good at interviewing, make sure to practice, practice, practice. You're not just going to over overnight be an amazing interviewer, or I guess if you are, that's really great for you. But for a lot of people, you do need to practice this skill that we are working on. So take the time out, find a mock interview buddy and practice these interviews because that's how you're going to get better at them. And then look up common questions that are asked on developer types of interviews.